What's happening, Holy Pride, and welcome back to the Vibe Land. This is what we do. This is this is not the usual table that we film on. Nope. It's not. You got me. This isn't the usual table we film on. This also isn't going to be the usual table I film on. Although it's low-key quite comfortable. So one day I was just wandering through the store, and I happened to come across something. Something amazing. Do you know what it was? Of course you don't, because I haven't told you yet. It's... It's a soda stream. And I've already... I've obviously already put it together. Today, we're going to ask the amazing question of... Will it soda? Or carbonate? It's honestly whatever you want it to be <laughs> so today we're going to put hot cocoa in the soda shrink you know it's cold outside it's snowing possibly somewhere where you are it's probably snowing it's supposed to be snowing where I am too but that's okay today we're gonna be making hot cocoa and putting it inside of this soda shrink so my favorite hot cocoa is the hot cocoa at QT. So I went by QT and I got two things of hot cocoa. I'm going to pour them into this. Then we're going to push this button and see if it carbonates and sees how it tastes after it's carbonate. Let's see if we like it. Maybe. Possibly. That's going way too slow. Oh dang, mess is already, it's halfway full. As you can see, that's why we got the second cup. Now, obviously, this isn't hot anymore because inside the solar stream it says not to put anything hot in it. I'm using it. I'm already taking a chance not carbonating just water. So, let's just, let's not break too many rules at once. So, let's go ahead and throw it in there, guys. Are y'all ready to see if Quick Trips hot cocoa carbonates and makes soda? Because we're about to find out. I don't, I don't know if y'all can see this. <laughs> the bubbles are all the way at the top right now. All the way at the top. Not sure if this was a good idea. Okay guys, as you can see, it is carbonated. You can see the bubbles, you shake it up, it's carbonated. And now, 
we are going to try it. And now we are going to try the carbonated hot chocolate. Let's go ahead. It's probably just going to take the carbonated hot chocolate, so. But wait, vibes, it's not hot chocolate unless it has whipped cream. That's way too much. Cheers. Okay, so honestly, it tastes like a root beer float. Honestly. If you want my honest opinion, carbonated hot cocoa tastes like a root beer float. Mm. Now this was QT's hot chocolate. What about if we were to get Swiss Miss hot chocolate and melt some Lindor chocolate truffle bar into it and see how that would taste okay guys i'm back <clears throat> okay guys i'm back and remember okay guys i'm back and i just made the swiss miss hot chocolate and i melted the lindor truffle bar or stick or whatever inside of the hot chocolate remember the qt hot chocolate tasted like a root beer float when we carbonated it. Chances are this is gonna taste the same, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> Let's try it and see what happens. Are you ready to see if it's sodas? One, two, three. Four times the charm. Let's just. Okay. So, this is the QT hot chocolate. It tastes like a root beer float after it's carbonated. This is the Swiss Miss hot chocolate. Let's see what it tastes like. Are you ready for the taste test? This is the Swiss Miss. It's obviously much lighter then the QT hot chocolate. I could have made it wrong. I make I make my hot chocolate with milk. I'm pretty sure they make theirs with water. Because I don't see how you can keep milk inside that machine so long. But rub cream for starters. That one tastes like a root beer float, but the root beer was stale, and it was, it just, it's just not what it's supposed to be <laughs> at all. So, so, um, if you're gonna carbonate hot chocolate, go with the QT, <laughs> or possibly just use water. That 
that could also be the deciding factor in this is the fact that I didn't use. That could also be the deciding factor in this. This could also be that I didn't use water. And they did, although I'm not 100% sure. However, that's going to be the end of the video. So, you can soda it. If you want a really easy root beer float, go to QT. <laughs> but, that's all for my video today. Hope you all enjoyed this mess. If you did, like it down below. And let me know what I should try and soda next inside this soda stream. Until then, I'll see you next time. Uh, at... The Bible.